Hi there. Yeah, um, I just stopped by to see how he was doing. Can I go in? Oh, family, um, well, I, I am, I am family. I, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not family, I'm his wife. That's, I mean, that's family, right? Like, once you're married, you're family. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm that. Uh, so, I will just head in. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm the person who brought him in. No, no, my, my, my name is different because, um, because I kept... I kept my ma maiden name when we got married. Uh, it's, it's, it's important to me. Uh, and, and he's very supportive. So <laughs> that's why I love him. He, he always, he's very supportive of my independence. So, um, I'm just going to go in and see how he's doing. How is he doing? Amnesia. Oh. Uh... How long will he have amnesia? W w will he ever get his memory back? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Well, how much, how much, um, what kind of amnesia are we talking about here? Are we talking about like, oh, I can't remember anything from yesterday kind of thing? Or is it who am I, who are you type of amnesia? Oh. Oh, so, so he, he won't remember me. He won't know, uh, he won't know if I'm, if I'm even his wife. Uh-huh. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's heart, it's heartbreaking, but you know what? I think I will get through this. I will get through this because... I am a strong and, and as you know, independent woman. So, and he supports that. So, um, I'm going to just go in and see my, 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 my husband, my husband. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, babe, honey. Um, how are you feeling? Oh, oh, you heard that. Um, yeah, uh, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm your wife. <laughs> we, uh, do you, do you, do you remember me at, uh, at all? Oh, <laughs> well, well, that's nice. You look familiar to me too. <laughs> uh, uh, of course you do. I, um, I don't know why I said that. Um, how, how are you feeling? How's your head? Oh, well, um, the accident was, uh, it, it was not your fault. It, it, it was, it was kind of a freak accident, actually. Um, you were walking on the sidewalk. Uh, we were gonna, we were gonna see each other right in front of that coffee shop where we always see each other, uh, where we've met every day for the past, um, well, for the past five years. And, and, well, you know how, I suppose you don't know. They have this big old giant metal cup for a sign that hangs outside the shop. And they were fixing it because that water that runs into the, the cup was, was broken. And um, it, it fell and it started to tilt, and I called out, Hey, watch it. And you, um, instead of looking up, you looked at me, and that's when you rocked right into the path, and it fell and hit you on the head. And so you were, um, you were knocked out pretty cold. You've, you've been out for the past two days. <laughs> You were you were in the local paper. <laughs> the, the headline said "Near Decapitation by Decaffeination." It was not brilliant, but it caught people's attention. And and uh, at your work, at, at your work, everyone is um, uh, concerned for you and and sending well wishes. Uh, 
In, in, in fact, I, I stopped by your work and I, um, I, I picked up a card that they had all signed. It's, it's, it's right there next to the flowers that I, I brought you. There's, there's that sweet older receptionist who said that, um, if you promise to get better soon, she'll bake you your favorite brownies. That was sweet of her. Do, do you, do you remember her? Do you remember anything about your work? Uh, well, you, you, you work at an office. Um, the, the, the company's name is, um, Obsidian Horizon and, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you, you have a plaque right there on the door, um, with your job title. Uh, you are, um, a, a, ch a chief innovative strategist. <laughs> yes. Um. Well, it means that you're you you, stra you strategize the innovations for for Obsidian. Um, well, well, they're they're. You know what? Um, why don't you just relax and rest because a lot is coming at you right now. You know, and um, you don't want to think about work. You don't need to think about work. You need to focus on getting better, right? So. All you need to know about work is that you have a very impressive, albeit vague sounding job title. And uh, <laughs> you work for a company that has a really nice office and a really nice office building and, and you're all the way at the top floor. So you're clearly very successful. I, I mean, you are very successful. That's what I, you are very successful at what you do. So you can take heart with that, um, but not worry about work. Don't. Don't, don't ask me about work. Don't you ask me about work. I'm not going to tell you about work until you get better, mister. Um, your, your family? I, I, I didn't, no, no, I, I haven't, I, I haven't called your family because, um, <laughs> I, I couldn't remember. <laughs> you know me. I'm such a scatterbrain. I, I could, well, okay, you don't remember. Uh, it, I am sometimes a little bit of a, a, a scatterbrain and I couldn't remember the 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 passcode for your phone so I could not call your family so uh yes yes of course I have their phone number on my phone uh I uh but um <laughs> my phone broke it broke when when you were hit by the giant coffee cup i went rushing to you it fell out of my pocket onto the ground and so my phone is broken and your phone is locked so what you gonna do right but you know also i, I wouldn't want to worry them i wouldn't worry them because um you are going to be fine so uh we, we can we can tell them that you're fine we don't have to tell them anything else right you, uh, Well, like, uh, well, well, like, like, ab uh, about the accident or ab about, about, it, like, we don't need, we don't even need to tell them about us getting married because, like, they already know, right? They're your parents. They already know. Uh, okay. I, yes, this is. Oh, very strange. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. And it's, it's not just, it's, it's not just very strange because, um, you have amnesia. I, uh, I didn't mean for it to get this out of hand. I just wanted to be able to come in and see you and make sure that you were okay because, okay, yes, the accident happened and it happened, like I said, and and we do meet um for coffee every day for the for the past 5 years but uh you just don't you you just don't know that we do you've you've never noticed that i'm always there um we we are we we're not married i i'm sorry
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I just told the nurse that we were so that I could make sure that you were okay because I just had to know that you were okay. And then you overheard and I don't know what I was thinking except that she was right out the door when I first told you that we were. And I'm sorry. I am the one who brought you to the hospital. I did go to your office and get a card from all of the people because because I, I knew that you were going to miss work that day and I went and told them that you were missing work and why. And so I, I wasn't trying to pretend to be your wife to everyone. I, I just... And this is still crazy that I pretended to you. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You what? What was our first date like? I, I no, that's what I'm saying. Like, we're not married. We didn't even have a first date. Like, literally, we just see each other every day in the coffee shop. And I've always thought you were kind of nice and sweet and charming. But I don't think you ever even noticed me until the day I said, hey, watch out. And that was very briefly. And now you don't remember What was our first date like? I just... Oh. <sighs> you, you want me to tell you... You want me to tell you what our, what our face, what our first date was like? Um. Okay, well. Uh, we had... We had seen each other in the coffee shop a lot of times. I, I, and I knew where you worked because we rode the elevator together a few times and you were on the top floor and there's only the one business on the top floor. Um, and I asked you, <laughs> what on earth does Obsidian Horizon do? And you gave me an explanation that still sounded vague. I asked you what you did there, and you said that you were their chief innovative strategist. And I said, that sounds very impressive, but I still didn't know what it meant. <laughs> and I absolutely learned that from you and not by just seeing your name on the door. In fact, I absolutely learned your name because you told me, and not just because I had heard the barista call it a million times. <laughs> yes, totally. And let's see. Yes. Yes, you did start waiting for me at the elevator so that we could get to know each other two minutes at a time over the course of the next... how many months? <laughs> yes. Three months. Until you got up the nerve to ask me out. <sighs> It was very sweet of you. This is very sweet of you. Okay, <laughs> get to the first date. Okay, uh, well, we had decided that we would not do coffee for a first date because we had done coffee together every workday for years. We decided to go straight for a full-on date. Dinner and dancing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. Because I like dancing, too. Which is how we knew that we would get along very well together once we got to know each other. <laughs> uh... uh Yes, of course I can tell you about our first kiss. I wouldn't forget our first kiss. 
Well, coincidentally, you had been in an accident then, too. And you'd hurt your head. And when you opened your eyes, you saw me. And I felt like you'd seen me for the first time. Even though we'd been on the date before. <laughs> but you looked at me like, like you are now. And um, it just took my breath away. I felt so drawn to you. And I couldn't help but lean in. And you lifted up your head from the pillow. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And I... Mm. It was just like that. And it was the most perfect first kiss that had ever been kissed. With one of the silliest and romantic stories that I've ever heard. Oh, you have no idea how much I'd like to recreate that first date with you once you're out of here. <laughs> Yeah, so between that and the brownies, you've got some incentive to get better, huh? Oh, you know what, though? Uh, also, I, I really did try to unlock your phone to call your parents, so you might want to... You might want to call them. All right, well, while you do that, I am going to head down to the cafeteria and get myself something to eat. Can I bring you back some coffee? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see why you would want to quit. <laughs> Hi there, Cupcakes. Thank you all so very much for sticking with me through another story. Thank you all very much for all of your shares and your comments and your likes and your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so now. That helps me out a lot. And also, becoming a member. I have a new member with Happy Quetzalcoatl, who just, that even the name makes me happy. So, <laughs> And of course, I have so many thanks to give out to all of those top-tier patrons who help me be able to do this every day. There is Eerie Ghost, Nikki, Billy Harden, Loot Curator, Lemonic Cultist, Dan, Confused But Still Here, Bowman, Alton Goodbottle, Disbanded Crow, Tekka, Amphizenus, Gunner's Mage, Mushan Gaming, Tomas Rogers, Your, Scare, Your Skating Wolfie, No Steve Barry, Wilburn, Esteed, SLE Photo, Harper Evolution, Justin, Wolf9004, Malasilo, Army Guy 007, Mr. Fabulous, Lou, Bunny, Tiny the Taxman, Meryl, Mr. Ripples, Unin. Darth Mythis, Red Death 48, Always Able, Vagar, Moon, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear, Artlo, Pierce Talish, and Christian Kaleapa'a. It is always wonderful to get to see you guys, and I will look forward to seeing so many of you this weekend in the uh, Baker and Pound Cake meet and greets that are going to be in uh, the Discord server voice chat. So, Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific, and Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific, we will be there. Also, Sunday, we get the spicy Sunday, which, um, according to a vote, going to be the demon from this week. We'll see how that goes. Thank you all very much for listening. I hope you will all be as good to yourselves as you are to me, and I will talk to you later. <laughs>